Hi, this is Sopno Land. It's good to see you after work. Today, I'm going to quickly give you an update on XREL. They have launched a Nebula app for Windows. It's in beta phase, but you can go download the app. The links are below and start playing with it. Uh, there are a couple of functionalities that I really like. Of course, you can have multiple displays there. You can also get curved screen. You can change the distance of the screen, you can change the size of the screen, you can change the temperature of the screen. So there are a lot of uh, features that I see can be uh, interesting for a lot of uh, users like me. I am more interested in they have a curved or ultra wide display. The challenge is that the field of view is a bit limited. So you are not getting, you know, a <laughs> you're not getting a kind of massive curved display. Uh, it will be cut off by the display itself, but I'm really excited about what, what they are doing there. The reason I like to talk about these technologies as a tech journalist, I do, of course, uh, cover MetaQuest 3, whole Metaverse, uh, Metaverse Foundation. Uh, I have uh, Vario Aero, but uh, I see that there's a market for these startups, these devices, uh, where they are more focused on addressing some of the pain points that users feel. I mean, Aero, Vario, they come from the whole aircraft industry where they make those expensive devices for the pilots. They are awesome, lovely devices. I love them. Same with the Meta. They are pushing for their own ecosystem to sell their games. Though I feel that Meta Quest has become a one-trick pony, mostly for Gorilla Tags. But they are not addressing all the problems that we are. <laughs> the use cases that we try to uh, deal with, which is like play, uh, watch a movie on your phone, a Nintendo Switch or Steam Deck or Asus ROG Alley, or, uh, you know, use a, a kind of uh, wearable monitor to get work done on your Mac or Windows systems. So this is a niche that these uh, players are fulfilling. So that's why, and even for my day job, I focus on this tech startup. So this is kind of market that do kind of interest me a lot. So I'm excited about the work they're doing. Coming back to the point, uh, while this beta for Windows is great, it has some limitations because it's beta. Uh, you cannot use it uh, for production ads yet because there is screen tearing happening. So you cannot, when you move your head, so you cannot really use it for work. But beyond that, everything is, the colors are good. The, the video quality is very good. So everything is great there. What I'm curious is that why is Xreal not bringing out an iOS app. They have an Android app, but especially in the US, iOS is a dominant platform. And, and I mean, but there's content wise or game wise. Uh, so not having an iOS app is kind of limiting. Also given that next year, uh, not next year, it's only 2024. Uh, this year, Apple will be coming out Vision Pro. On iPhone uh, 15 Pro, they have already a, kind of offered the ability to record 3D or VR video for Vision Pro. And there are certain apps that you can use to watch those videos and which are, they launched an app called Space Walker, which you can use to play these videos natively on your VR glasses or, you know, as I say, wearable displays. I use that with my XREL, it works fine, but I would rather have a native app from XREL to support uh, their devices. So if you are listening Xreal, uh, when are we going to get an iOS app? If you can have an app for Android and if Witcher can have an app for iOS, you can also have an app for that. So I would really you know, look forward for you folks to bring out an iOS app. One more thing I would like to uh, see and after looking at this Windows Nebula, uh, which is uh, if you look at Steam VR, I can use my Quest, I can use all the VR you know, headsets out there, and I can play games like Dirt Rally or Formula One in the VR environment. You folks have a great display here. So are you also working on a VR kind of app, which will be the next step for the Nebula app, so we can experience VR gaming from Steam on Xreal? Of course, if you are working on it, I mean, you will keep that announcement for later on, but just blink if you're working on it so we do know that, hey, a lot of exciting things are happening in this space. And folks who are watching this video, uh, please let me know what do you think about these new capabilities and what, what else would you like to see 
from uh, these devices. One quick correction I want to make that I uh, made in the previous video, it was an error on my at my own end because it was very, very overwhelming is that since I have a lot of connectors and a lot of, you know, kind of adopters, uh, when I was using Xreal and I, when I say, you know, it's play, plug and play, because you do know that you cannot just plug a Nintendo Switch into an HDMI output and it will work. You, I cannot even connect it to a portable display like this one, uh, which is HDMI display and start working on it. I have to power this display and then the display will power Nintendo Switch. So it does send the uh, HDMI signal out, but it needs power. So I, uh, it was an error on my part where I assumed uh, that, oh, you know what, it's worked. So, so when I meant plug and play, what I meant was that there are a lot of options in the industry and I have a ton of, you know, you can see behind me, it's my, it's my workshop, 3D printing, CNC. Uh, I'll talk about all the hobbies that I have. I have a big sim racing setup there as well. But I can use a lot of solutions to play games on Nintendo Switch. But none of those uh, solutions work with Witcher. I have to use that Witcher uh, adapter with the right power supply to use it. So when I said plug and play, I mostly meant that you can use a lot of other universal solutions with Xreal and just start playing Nintendo Switch game. So that's a just a bit of a correction. So thanks for correcting me. I really appreciate all the feedback there. And I'll try to remain more accurate in my future videos. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you after work in the next video.